So today's rant is a little bit of a sensitive topic and I don't want to come across as insensitive. People who let their dogs run loose on their property and then the dog gets killed. The dog gets hit by a car because it ran out into the street. And it's the same story I hear all the time. My dog has never run out into the street. Yeah, the dog never runs out into the street until it does. And I, I feel horrible even talking about this because, I mean, an animal died. A dog died, you know? And, and I can't imagine how heartbreaking that is. I really can't. And I really feel bad for the people and the dog, especially if the dog didn't die right away and suffered from its injuries. But the bottom line is everybody says the same thing. Oh, my dog never ran out in the street. Never ran out in the street until that one day that it did. So stop letting your dogs run around your property or your neighborhood. And I get it, I'm not talking about it. If you live in the country and you know, you have acres and acres and acres, I get it. You could certainly, you know, let your dogs run free and you know, provided you're doing the right training and work with them. And the last post I saw about this, the woman was complaining about the hit and run dog got hit by a car and the person who hit the dog just kept driving which is horrible what a jerk but the woman took no accountability for her actions at all that's really the crux of my rant no accountability and hey look if you got a 12 13 year old dog and the dog walks down the front steps and just sits on the front lawn all the time I get it provided you are actually supervising your dog and lack of supervision, that's a whole nother rant. I mean, I feel horrible even ranting about this, but it's, it's just stuff I think about when I'm driving. Like, I mean, I get that accidents happen. You know, if the dog scooted out the front door on accident or somebody left the gate open, I get it, accidents happen. And that's really unfortunate and sad. And it's just as unfortunate and just as sad if you consciously allow your dog to roam free and then get hit by a car. I don't care what the driver of the car did or didn't do, it's your fault. So if you don't have a fenced in yard and you don't have a reliably responsive dog, then I mean, you need to leash your dog, put it out on some kind of control mechanism and supervise your dog. Don't leave it outside alone, unsupervised where leashes can break, tethers can break, all sorts of things can happen without you knowing. And most of all, don't let your dog roam free. Now, if you're in the country, that's one thing, but if you're in a high traffic area, you know, and it, there's a lot of vehicular traffic, I mean, just use common sense. Again, I just, and it's heartbreaking. It is. I feel horrible even talking about this. Like I said, I mean, again, I can't reiterate it enough, but to not be accountable for your actions that your dog died? Sad. Really sad state of irresponsible pet ownership. I don't know. I have nothing else to say.